give you grams of this uh, in the description box underneath the video as always, okay? But in here I have five and a half cups of uh, whole wheat flour with two and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to mix this well. I'm going to add a packet of active dry yeast. That's two and a quarter teaspoons, a uh, quarter ounce. And mix that. In here I have one and a third cups of pineapple juice. It is unsweetened pineapple juice. I'm going to add half a cup of whole milk. A third cup of honey. Don't worry that it's curdling like this. It's okay. I'm going to add six tablespoons of melted butter that I allowed to cool down. I'm going to put this in the microwave, maybe for 45 seconds, maybe a minute. I want it to warm up to about 110 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, you know, lukewarm. All right, I am going to add that warm uh, liquid to this. If you have a stand-up mixer, you can do this in the mixer. It'll be easier. I'm going to knead it by hand. I'm going to add two teaspoons of orange juice, this is freshly squeezed, and two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of orange zest. And finally a room, an egg at room temperature. My hands are clean, I'm just going to start mixing this with my hands. I'm going to transfer this to a board with a little tiny bit of flour and I'm going to start kneading. Probably going to knead for a good 8 to 10 minutes. I actually didn't uh, add any more flour to the board. I just dumped it. I don't think I need to. Okay, I am going to now knead this for, as I said, 8 to 10 minutes. And here we have a beautiful beautiful dough. <laughs> I don't want you to add a bunch of flour on your board. If you need some, just be very, very, very careful of putting just a tiny bit on, okay? Whole wheat will absorb liquid more than white wheat and you don't want your breads to, you know, you don't want your rolls to be dry. So be very, very stingy with the extra flour. We're going to place this in this oil bowl. I'm going to cover this and put it in a draft-free area for, I don't know, an hour, maybe an hour and a half until it's doubled in volume. I transferred my dough, uh, you know, after it doubled in volume onto my board. I'm just going to punch it down a little bit. I'm going to cut this into three equal pieces. I'm going to cut these into six pieces each. If you want them to be exactly the same size, you're going to have to weigh them. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to form a roll, pinching it at the bottom, and I'm going to cup my hand and roll it into a ball. I'm not going to squish it. I'm going to transfer this to a greased 9 by 13 um, dish pan. 9 by 13 inches is 22 by 33 centimeters. I'm going to just lightly spray these. All right, I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let these rise and you know until they've doubled in size and then we'll bake them. These are ready to go into the oven. Um, I have been preheating an oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 190 centigrade. Um, and we're going to put these in for about 25 minutes, maybe 30, we'll see when they're nice and brown, we'll take them out. 
it's not it's a good thing that they're nice and stuck to each other they grew perfect okay these took 20 minutes in my oven we're gonna let them cool down for about five minutes and then we're going to brush them with some butter all right we're gonna brush the tops with some really soft butter here uh, this is unsalted butter by the way Oh, notice that my uh, pan is on top of a cooling rack. All right, we're going to let these cool down. I'm good 20 minutes, and then we'll uh, take them out of the pan. Very nice. So look at this roll. Obviously, it is not a light roll. You saw how thick that ba uh, dough was and all the stuff we put in. But it's a very moist, very, very, it has a nice, you know, um, interior. It's nice and soft from the outside. It's delicious. <laughs> I put some butter and honey on it. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> this is, it's got a subtle flavor to it. It's not super sweet. This is very, very nice. I hope you give this a try. If you want to make this with um, white flour, you can. Uh, just, you're going to have to decrease the, um, the pineapple juice to only one cup okay because of it, it's gonna be too wet hey guys thanks for watching I hope you really like this video if you give me a like a share a comment and a sub that'd be great I will see you next time in the meantime be well without going broke take care